Good morning, Wareham, and we apologize for the delay. Today is October 28th, and apart from the delay, we have a great show here for you. The news headlines, the weather report, and today in history. This show is going to be very delicious, especially for us in the studio, because I'm having Debbie Felon, who is from D&D &D Chocolates, um, or Candies. She's here in the studio to talk a little bit about her business and her homemade candies. And apart from that, we're going to have our usual featured programs. But first, I would like to take this moment to thank Know Your Average Antiques, an antique shop down Cranberry Highway in East Wareham for donating the props that you see in the morning show. So stay tuned because the weather and the news headlines are next. <music> Today is a special day in Wareham. Full Town Meeting is tonight, October 28th at 7 p.m. There are 24 articles on the Town Meeting Warrant, including articles about funding, feasibility, uh, and all preliminary design for a new public safety complex, and an appraisal for the current facilities value, approval, and fund collective bargaining agreements with various town unions, including library employees, wastewater treatment plant workers, firefighters, police officers, and town maintenance workers. So do not forget that we have town meeting tonight at 7 p.m. And also, good news for all students out there, especially those who are going to college, State Representative Susan William Gifford is supporting legislation that calls for seven-year, multi-billion dollar investment in the state's public schools to help ensure that all Massachusetts students have access to a quality education. The bill seeks to implement the recommendations of the Foundation Budget Review Commission, which determined um, in its 2015 report that the state is underfunding public education by as much as $1 billion to $2 billion a year. The bill is, um, if passed, will be the first major change to the education funding formula since the passage of it in 1993 uh, during the Education Reform Act of 1993. So good news for students in general. Those still in elementary and secondary uh, elementary and secondary, and those also in higher ed education. Everybody's education will be equitably funded. And to another news of the day, the annual Halloween spectacular returned to the YMCA Gleason family on Friday night uh, this year. Uh, with its jungle safari theme, the party featured bouncy house, treasure hunt, Hot wall climbing, games, big wheel racing, uh, selfie stations, and animal pose yoga. Kids and parents enjoyed the party while showing off their costumes. So take a look at some of those footage courtesy of Wareham Week. Well, welcome back, Wayham. So today's a cloudy day, high at 57 degrees uh, tonight, cloudy skies with patchy drizzle possible, low at 47 degrees. 
Um, tomorrow, cloudy as well. Cloudy with the chances of meatballs. <laughs> High at 57. Mostly cloudy skies at night with few showers later on. We're looking at 52 for a glow tomorrow, Tuesday, October 29th. So it's good weather. No, not so quite. But it's good fall weather for town meeting. Once again, I'm stressing town meeting. Make sure you are there. So that's all for this morning weather segment. And right now we are going straight to our first featured program of the day, and that is Growing Strong, Mary Rose Story at 105 years old. At 349 Onset Avenue is the home of Onset's oldest resident, Mary Rose, who just turned 105 years old. I remember my, my father's store. It was this area, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. This yeah. was the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and had a room in back. And uh, he had a wonderful store, I tell you. He had bananas hanging from the rafters. And uh, he had boxes of grapes. Born in 1914, Mary Rose is the oldest of seven children. She attended Oak Grove School right outside her house. Mm -hmm. So this particular school right here? Yes. They, who was allowed to go there? Just the Cape Verdeans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were segregated from the Hammond School. Hammond School was mm -hmm. there. In, yeah, and right mom the was going there. there. Mm -hmm. And they actually took them out of there and put them all over here, separated them. Though she was born in the United States, her first language was Creole, the language of her parents, who were Kevrilian immigrants. One of her childhood fond memories was the day she got a baby sister. That, mom, that day, we were all in, in, the, in that room there. Now it's a kitchen, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And, um, we don't know what's going on upstairs. I, my father sent me to get the, the ladies, the, you know, the, the midwives. Yeah, get yeah. the ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they all went upstairs. Then my father comes down and says, you have a sister. And at the same time, the train is mm -hmm. back here, the tracks. Yes. And the train went by. The train needs to run them back, mm. way back, and well, so I went, I told my sister and brother, did you hear that train? Yep. Well, Alvina came in that train. My father told me that that's where we all came. <laughs> 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 then I go to school and I told them. You told them Alvina came from the train? Mm-hmm. The boys are, are, are smart. They, they, they do everything, I guess. <laughs> they, she, they said, told me, I really didn't come in any train. <laughs> and they left it at that. I left it at that. <laughs> she also recalls tough moments in history, such as segregation, war, and the Great Depression. 1929. There was a... Um, the depression. Mm -hmm. The crash. My father... In the government. ...closed the store. That depression was bad. You see people walking in the road looking for money. Nobody had work. There was a factory in East Wayham closed down. My godfather used to work on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did they have in that factory? Was Co that cotton? Cotton. It was a cotton, cotton factory cotton. in Wareham. That was a pretty so, interesting. Yeah, down south. Her family, like many other Cambodian families at that era, worked in the cranberry bogs. Everybody picked up cranberries, especially then. Mm -hmm. They they bring the kids too. They brought us too to to pick the berries. And we did a good job. I made $30, you know, that mm -hmm. was good. And 
That's how I got that coat with the fur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she met her husband while picking cranberries. She also recalls the day his aunt came to her house to ask her parents for a hand in marriage. Uh, I don't know what, what I was going to say. <laughs> I went to bed. I knew they were coming. I went to bed. <laughs> I stayed there. Yeah. What was it like growing up with your mother? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Well, she was always uh, a very quiet person, mm. uh, very religious, but she was, she's, she loves, like, she loves to teach, mm. so she was very kind, and um, she taught me a lot, you know, and, and patience, and um, uh, she cooked, she's a very hard worker. In the summers, we, my dad had made a, a in the backyard, he made uh, out of barrels and things like that, fire pits and stuff. So mom would uh, can, she would can, do all the canning. We lived down the Cape at the time and the weathers are bad. So um, to prepare for winter, they would, um, she would can all the vegetables, corn and beans and piccalilli and uh, pickles. And, um, and then we had our, our home was like a, a zoo. We had chimpanzees, we had geese, we had uh, calves, uh, cows, and then that would get slaughtered for the winter. We had a huge freezer down in the cellar, and so they would package it all up, all the meats, and then uh, like they would buy, uh, they would purchase rice by the hundred pound, Uncle Ben's rice by the hundred pound bags, and then they put tobacco inside so the bugs don't get the, the, the rice. It lasts all winter. Lima beans, you buy it in the big bags and you put the tobacco, the, crush up the cigarettes and put them in there, you know. Scrambled in a pool of long memories is a pivotal incident in her life, the day she eluded a terrible fate. She was telling me when she was going to night school <laughs> and uh, she was wondering, I'll, I'll just cut to the chase there for you. She was wondering why some of the ladies in the class they would, uh, all of a sudden, she started seeing some of the women not coming back to, to school. So she was saying that um, one day she went to school, or she went to the school, and so she took a ride with this guy. So go ahead, you pick it up from there. Yeah, well, that guy was uh, Creole, you know, and he was teaching school, too. He's, uh, where do you ladies live? They said, oh, well, not them. He said, well, I live up that way. I can give you a ride. And then the next day, <laughs> it took two days. Those two women, I didn't see that, that those women. Never came back to class. They never come back. I don't know where they went. So the next night, she took the ride again for him to take her home. Mm -hmm. So you got in the car, and you're driving off from school. So where do you go? All of a sudden, I see this, this snow on the ground and this woods. And she doesn't recognize where she is. <laughs> I said, I was going to, you better take me home. I said, you're not going, you don't go home this way. He says, I shortcut, I mean, I, that, you know. Then he stopped the car. He said, I want you to, to uh, promise me that you go out with me. I said, I'm not going out with nobody. I went to go trust me to do oh, yeah. the door. He locked, he locked the door. She started saying I the Hail Mary. Yeah. At that time, I was going to church all the time, you know. And, but I didn't realize that I was strange. Mm -hmm. You mean that? All of a sudden, I happened to look up. I see a car coming with lights on top. Blue flashing lights. The, the cop come right by him. Got off and said, what are you doing here? What is this? You stopping in a 
Snow. Are you alright, lady? I said, I'm alright. I'm sitting like a big man. He told him, I want you to get, get the car going. I'm going to follow you. So let her go. You, you take her home. He said that. He started the car. He went, he didn't go too far. He says, you and your Hail Mary. She never went back either. <laughs> I wanted she to quit finish the school. my high school, mm -hmm. you know. But I, uh, I should have reported it. That's what I should have done. When somebody asks you about your secret of making it to 104, almost 105, what do you say? Well, <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's amazing that God has allowed her to, to be able to enjoy the technology of today. And so it's fascinating. It's, it's like uh, when people are ill, you know, and you're going to pull the plug and then next week they have a cure. <laughs> You know, so it was like, wow, she can take advantage of this. So it's really, really something. In a nutshell, Mary Rose attributes personal communication and family as a recipe for a long, happy life. I hope you enjoy the Mary Rose's story and now we are going to take a break and when we come back we're going to continue with more hello and thank you for being with us this morning we are broadcasting live from our wctv studio in wareham this is good morning wareham your source for local news weather traffic and more information and now for a moment in history let's take a look at where we were today in history This day in architecture history, the Gateway Arc of St. Louis was completed in 1965. The arc reaches 630 feet in height and was designed by Aero Serene. It was made to commemorate the Louisiana Purchase that took place in 1803 when Thomas Jefferson doubled the landmass of the United States by buying the Midwest from France. Over 4 million visit the park um, to this day. Um, it's quite a beautiful scene. And speaking of the French, on this day in monument history, another landmark, uh, the Statue of Liberty was dedicated in 1886, the a gift from France to celebrate the United States 100th birthday. The statue is over 150 feet tall. The Statue of Liberty is a symbol for America, especially for immigrants first coming to the United States. 
millions of immigrants were welcomed by the Statue of Liberty as they first entered New York Harbor to start their new lives as Americans. And also today in, one second, also today in amendment history, Congress passed the Volstead Act, which enforced the 18th Amendment, uh, be, be, uh, beginning, prohibi prohibi beginning prohibition in 1919. After decades of controversy, America decided to ban consumption and production of alcohol. This unfortunately led to organized crime running rampant throughout the following decade. Congress ended prohibition in 1933 with the 21st Amendment. So each time you take a drink, you say, thank God for the end of prohibition. Anyhow, today, for today in his three birthdays, shout out goes to Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft. The ultra billionaire turned 64 years old today. And here is a little note from um, our, uh, one of our interns here at WCTV, Noah Wombat, who said, please send us all the money, my friend. There are a lot of college students and graduates here that could use your help. So happy birthday to everybody else celebrating their big day today. And that's all for today in history segment. To learn more cool historical facts, you can go online under history.com. The coffee segment is next, but bear with us. Coming up is the today, um, the, sorry, coming up is our events calendar followed by other breaks as we prep our guest of honor. Today's cell phones are not only an extension of our arms, but a life tool. Hello, I am Maureen Farrington from Advantage Custom Apps. I am here today to talk about a certain app, a tool that will help you navigate your way through the Wareham community. The WCTV app places your local community in the palm of your hand. The app is a place where you will find local events, town meetings, local and school sports, community interest stories, compelling interviews, and most of all, the ability to shop local. Connect to the Wareham app by going to your web browser and typing in wctv.app. And then, once you bring up the web link, you have the opportunity of adding WCTV's app to your home screen. Once you download the app and save it to your home screen, you will then have the opportunity to, with the touch of a finger, hit the call button, which we call WCTV, the refer us button. You can refer the app to your friends and families. There's a Facebook share button if you'd like to put that on your Facebook page as well. And here is the menu tab. On the menu tab, 
we have YouTube videos, new program proposal, events that WCTV is hosting, a photo gallery, contact button, and can lead you right to their website. We also have an, a shop local tab. When you touch on that, you'll see the local businesses that you can frequent. Also, there's an About Us tab telling you some information about WCTV. There are hours and directions. This here will take you right to their Facebook page. There is a Donate button if you would like to donate to WCTV and a Join button that will let you join their community. Many local establishments are listing their business on the WCTV app. And you can too. It's a great way to showcase your business to your existing customers and your potential new ones. For a nominal fee, you could list your business on the Shop Local tab as well. A percentage of that fee goes to fund a scholarship for an outgoing senior. So be in the now and get the WCTV app on your home screen. Well, welcome back. You are watching Good Morning Wareham. Right now, it's the coffee segment. With me is Debbie and Donald Phelan uh, here to talk about the D&D &D candies, homemade candies. As I said, it's going to be one delicious show, especially for us. You are going to watch, get the information you need, and yeah. find them wherever they are. Find them so you can also try their candies. Welcome. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. So this is quite a treat. Monday yeah. morning, mm. talking about candy. Chocolate. Chocolate. I know. How does your house smell like? Oh, caramel, chocolate. Oh, my God. I know. I Do you know even it. get to buy candies anymore, or are you just tired of smelling it? Oh, no. We don't buy candies. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have mine. Yeah, you have mine. <laughs> Yeah. Don is like, I have some favorite candies out there, but I can't bring them inside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about you guys, a husband and wife. Yes. So tell us about a little bit of how you got started and how you convinced each other then. Let's do this. Oh, my goodness. Well, I started 48 years ago. Wow. Yes. I was 14, so now you know how old I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> my aunt okay. from Maine yeah. gave me her fudge recipe. And that's how I started. So every year for Christmas, mm. I would give people fudge for Christmas presents. Yeah. And then I expanded. I did a different flavor. And then I did a different flavor. And then I got a cookbook. And I started candies. And it just grew from there. So this is a 48-year hobby. Yes. When I retired, I was an optician in Connecticut for 30 years, mm. licensed. Um, I turned it into a business and I'm having a blast and we've been living here in Plymouth now for seven years okay. so the business here is six years old six years old yes so how did you convince Don to <laughs> <laughs> tell well, us about the conversation <laughs> when he retired from the army after okay. 43 years and we moved down here um, I said gee you know it might be kind of nice if you join me and do some candy shows with me and he was all for that because he loves to talk to people okay obviously and um, yeah I just kind of nudge him <laughs> say okay we have another show this weekend <laughs> so what's your process tell us what you do well number one is, is to support the operation um, 
all the time that I was uh, serving in the Army, Debbie has always supported me, mm. uh, especially when I was Commandant of the Academy. And um, so being retired and she's working on her uh, uh, dream as far as she loves to make people smile and um, is supporting her. Yeah. And so I help wrap it, <laughs> wrap package it, it <laughs> put the labels on, stack it, load the car. Uh, but she's basically pretty much in the kitchen and I support uh, what she puts together. Wow, so do you get to determine what kind of wrappers we're using and ribbons? I, a little bit of the process, <laughs> <A little> bit <laughs> but she pretty much has it all. So how was it like to have a wife who makes candy? Uh, it's, it's her passion. Yeah. She's found her passion. Uh, uh, she, did, she was an optician for quite a while. I don't mm -hmm. know if you mentioned that. I she did. Was a, uh, and um, her passion as far as making people smile. Yeah. Yeah. So you felt, you felt like it was the perfect fit. This is a retirement yeah. um, hobby, per yes. se. But it's now a business. It is a business. Because yes. you are very busy. You guys are not yes. just making for family. Now you're making and yes. selling. Yes. So how is that different from making for family? There's just more. More. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a lot more, okay. which is fun. Yeah. You know, going to the shows is a lot of fun. Um, I have people following me on Facebook. So I say I have groupies, Yeah. which is fun. And uh, Don comes with me to pretty much every show and will help me set up and sell. And he samples and... You know, we had our, our caramel sauce out the other day, and he's dipping fresh cranberries in it and giving it to people. And, yeah, sold out of that real quick <laughs> at the That's last show. So nice. So do yeah. your family still get gifts? or? <laughs> um, they do. Okay. They do, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's hard because I come from a family of diabetics. And you're making candy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the ones that are left, uh, the, ones that are left. <laughs> the ones that haven't passed away yet, um, but two of my brothers, yeah, I, I actually do make sugar free okay. for them, so <laughs> yes, but yeah, they hate me, <laughs> oh and goodness. I tell people that, and that's the response I get, yeah. I say, I have a family of diabetics, they make candy, <laughs> they make candy. Okay. it's so fitting, it's so yes, fitting, yes. Um, so tell us about what you have. We, 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 okay. we can get to showcase a little, uh, some okay. of these products. Okay, sounds good. I did a couple of different things mm -hmm. for you. These are my turtles, which of course is homemade caramel and pecans and you know chocolate mm -hmm. inside. And these are all for you guys. So oh you can my all... God, don't yeah. tell them out loud. Nobody heard that out here. Nobody heard that. I'll keep <laughs> my mouth shut now. Yeah, and uh, that, that'll never happen. I'm sorry. This is the original recipe I started with, chocolate fudge. Okay, so and it has nuts okay. in it. Chocolate fudge with nuts. Mm -hmm. This is my own recipe that I came up with, and being in the area, it is a bog toffee. Bog toffee. Yeah, so it's a toffee bottom with white chocolate and craisins and drizzled with chocolate. Oh my goodness. And this is my every time, every day, all time of the year wrapping. Okay. For the holidays, I get into. Aww. This, which is pretty, and I can do any color ribbon you want. Yeah. And this is a candy cane fudge. Oh, my God. I know. I'm crazy. This is oh. my award-winning fudge. Okay. Well, tell us the story, award-winning fudge. Okay. The reason I retired okay, the reason from retired. opticianry, Don was uh, transferred to Wisconsin. And okay. I figured, okay, we were living in Connecticut. He was in New York City. And... I said, that's kind of a long commute to Wisconsin. So that's when I retired in 2003. Moved out to Wisconsin, and they, oh, I hate to say it, but have cranberries out there too. <laughs> and they, you know, told me the world's largest supply. Yeah. And I said, no, no, Massachusetts is. <laughs> but they had a cranberry festival, and oh. I came up with a white chocolate cranberry macadamia nut fudge. And I won an award for that. So I brought you some oh, of that. Cheetah. I know. It's it's really So a quick question. Yes. Like when you make these, I mean these yes. are a staple. You go to most candy stores, you see you know, the turtles. How do you differentiate your recipe? Like how do you bring something new to something old? It's homemade. Homemade, okay. It's by me. By, yes. And 
There's a lot of love in my candies. Absolutely. And I'll tell you a story in a yeah. minute. Okay. Okay. Truffles. Yes. For you, these are my truffle boxes for the holidays. <gasps> oh, I know. Not be opened. <laughs> you can if you want. My newest best-selling fudge, chocolate sea salt caramel. Oh my God. I know. I love when you combine salt with sugar. Oh, please. It is mm. so good, I can't stand it. Oh. I know. <laughs> this is my new toy, okay. which I am so excited about. I have a new printer that prints edible ink. Yes. So I am able to do logos, names, on candies, on candy bars. I'm going to be making one for the two grannies on the road because I'm the younger granny now. Mm -hmm. You're the youngest. <laughs> well, Sorry, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the gra two grannies on the road. Oh, my gosh. We actually travel throughout Massachusetts. Our goal now is to visit every city and town in Massachusetts. And we learn the history. We just did Wareham. So that will be probably airing maybe the end of December. Okay. Um, because I'm Donna and I are learning the equipment, so we'll oh. be learning how to edit and everything. And um, we learn the history of the town, the best places to eat, who's the most interesting people to talk to, what's the beauty of the town, things that nobody will know about unless we tell them. Wow. Yes, and we have a Facebook page, and uh, we're on uh, PAC TV mm -hmm. and YouTube. So anybody can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes and find us and find our episodes because I'm crazy in those too. And I bring out the crazy in Beth, so we're good. And Don is our cameraman. <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> uh -huh. He is, he is. It's almost like you didn't find a hobby of your own before you retired. And he is like, come on, you have all this time. I know you have time. <laughs> yeah. Well, the whole thing is, you know, when he was in the Army, we've been married 22 years. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Out of his 43. And with him traveling so much, we weren't together all that much. Mm -hmm. So now, we want to be together. <laughs> so why not do everything do together? Do everything together. Yeah. Oh, it sounds <laughs> fun. I mean, your it life is, is like it a is. house a room of candy. It is. Going to every single town in Massachusetts. Yes, there's and 351. And I think that's a unique part because when people talk about traveling, they would talk about France far away and they have not explored not right. even their own country, but even their own state. Right. Even city. They right. Haven't. Right. That is very nice. Yeah, we have a blast. So what, really where do. did you visit? Uh, where did you go in Wareham? Oh my gosh, Riverside Cafe. Oh. Oh, Cafe Soleil. Oh my gosh. Greatest foods. Uh, AD make piece, of course. Okay. Yes, and I was telling Steve outside, I just uh, created a truffle using their white cranberry jelly. I know, I didn't bring that, I'm sorry. I know. I was about to say, they maybe located in no, here. No, different things, but. Um, you got these ones. And I have to tell you a story about this, too. Okay. So, and then, of course, we visited on set and we talked with Angela Dunham, who's fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Story? Yes. Okay. My sister Kathy, these are Kathy's Coconut Kisses, mm -hmm. loves these candies. Every year, birthday, Christmas, that's all she wants. Okay, mm -hmm. so her 40th birthday, I made her a huge bag of them. And she went down to Florida to visit our other sister, Sherry. And she wouldn't share them. <laughs> <laughs> she was such a brat. <laughs> but she came back home, and two weeks later, she passed away. So I make these and I have her with me at every show we do. And I tell people when they purchase those, they have to ask me for the story. And I'm in the process of doing a cookbook mm -hmm. to where all of my candy recipes will have a story. Okay. So it'll be stories like that, that will be in the cookbook. So what is in here? That is like a little uh, mounds bar. Okay. It's coconut and um, sugar, of course, confectioner sugar, and dipped in chocolate, and butter. Everything is better with butter. You must have cases and cases of butter. <laughs> Just like, butter this, butter that. Every time he goes to the store, he knows. Buy me butter. <laughs> and not the fake butter, it's real butter. Oh, it's real butter. butter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it has to be real butter. Yes. <laughs> you should make a deal with our store. Or something I know, like that. right? I'm gonna buy all this much. <laughs> 
<laughs> you made this count on this. <laughs> well, we are in a store, too. Yeah. Okay, in, which square? In Manomet. Okay. We're in Clements Market. Very nice. Yes, which is really nice. So, really, really nice. you know, we live in the day and age where people feel they can get anything online and not uh -huh. only cheaper, but faster. So when you make things like this, you talk about love, about yes. time. Okay, every single candy has history behind it. Yes. Um, how do you compete I in the market? How do you feel people responding to that? Do people understand and appreciate the work that goes into this? Some do. Some do. Some don't. Okay. But you're going to find that anywhere mm -hmm. with anything. So, and I'm not in it, honestly, to make a million dollars. I'm in it to see someone try something that I've created and smile and say, oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've ever had. That's what I'm in it for, because I love to make people happy. Because and then you're talking about making a book, then people are going to know your recipe. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's going to be dedicated to our grandchildren. We have 13 total. Oh la la! Yeah. <laughs> Don has five children in Michigan yes. with 11 grandchildren. Wow, and my daughter lives in Connecticut with two of our grandkids, so yes. So how are the like holidays and so forth? Gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> and candy. <laughs> Swapped with, wow. You know, if you have a party, you don't even get to invite friends. It's like, we have our own already. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> oh, that is so wonderful. Thank so you. how are you, how is this business growing apart from just being in the store? How are you refining some of the recipes or they're put? They're put. And I just, everybody says to me, when are you going to stop? Mm. When I stop creating, when I stop thinking at three o'clock and four o'clock in the morning and say, oh, that would make a great candy, <laughs> you know, because that's what I do. I'll just come up with something. I'll see something in the store, yeah. like at 80 Make Peace, and I bought the white cranberry jelly. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's going to make a great truffle. Yeah. Where do you source your chocolate from? Chocoli. Chocoli. Okay. Yes, they are in Atlanta. All right. And I buy specifically from them, mm -hmm. and it's a very good gourmet Belgian chocolate oh. that is made in the United States with no child involved <laughs> yeah. in anything. So it's good. It's good. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. All right. So which one should we try? Oh, um, which one would you like to try? You want to try a truffle? Okay. Or you want to try a fudge? What oh would you like God, to oh try? God, let's honey? do the sea salt one. Oh, okay. You do have to open it. Everything is heat sealed. Okay. That's what he does heat too. Sealed. All right. Because I don't use preservatives either. Okay. So, so if somebody buys this, how long would yes. it stay? Yes. Um, stay about two months. Two months. Okay. Yes. In the fridge. In the fridge. You can okay. put it in the fridge. Yes. As long as it's cool. You know, that's why from June sixteenth, that's the last Pine Hill show until September. I don't do anything in the summer. I can't. I'll melt. The candy will melt. Oh, my God. Yeah, so you have to take the, the wrapping off of it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I wish we had a Caesar or whatever. All right, so I don't have a Caesar, Caesar but okay. let's do something that is doable. Okay. The white chocolate cranberry macadamia nut I this. took out of okay, the wrapper, is, so right. you can try that. Oh. Or the truffles or the cafe. No, this is sisters. what the award winning. Okay. It is. Okay. Mm. And you can take a big bite. We won't care. We won't care? Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm trying to remind myself that I have to facilitate the conversation and not just enjoy myself. <laughs> oh, please, enjoy yourself. That's okay. I'll just keep on talking. <laughs> so this is the cranberry? White chocolate, chocolate cranberry macadamia nut. I know. Okay. I know. Oh, my God. Take another bite. Go ahead. Just in case. <laughs> you know, because maybe the first bite wasn't really good. So you'll have to take oh another bite to God. see. You will scream. You Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I made you happy. It's like Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And that's what I tell people with my caramel sauce, too, dipping the fresh cranberries. 
It's an appetizer for the holidays. It's fabulous. What a cheater. So this is every day in your house? Every day, pretty much making. Sure. Especially just trying, now. eating. Yeah. Just There's quite a bit of work that goes into <laughs> preparing for a show. Yes. But the reward is, is yeah. what I get is... Um, giving them a sample. They walk by and they see candy, they see all the wares of all the vendors mm. that are out there at, at the uh, venue, a free sample. And they taste it and it's the same reaction that yeah. you just gave. And we have other samples and, and they just, they're like in a kids in a candy land. And it's the best. It is the best. It's the best. It is. Oh my God. And this is my busy season, so from September yeah. until oh, December. Oh, so not, um, not, what should we call it, uh, Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day, not so much. People want to just go to the store and buy something that's heart-shaped, <laughs> you know, or whatever. And I've done for different companies. Um, <laughs> so I can buy of May. <laughs> I love it. Oh. But, yeah, you know, um, they want something cheaper. Okay. Usually, my stuff is gourmet. Yes. So it's a little bit more expensive, mm. but people want to pay for it because it's so good. Well, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. We have two minutes. Tell okay. us where we can find you. Okay, you can find us online. Mm -hmm. www. Okay. Facebook. Mm -hmm. All the time. Same thing. D&D Candies at different shows. Yeah. Um, and if you look on Facebook, I always list the shows that we're going to be at. Mm -hmm. um, Upper Cape is coming up soon, Upper Cape Technical School. Okay. And it's a really big show and really good for us. Very nice. So, yes. Yeah. I, I can't and thank Clemens you. Market. Clemens Market. Yes. Okay. In Plymouth. In Plymouth, Manomet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I cannot thank you enough for being in the studio. Thank this you. is quite a treat. Yay. Uh, and oh my God, if you are oh, that, <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. This is just pure Thanksgiving. Oh, wrapped in nicely and sweet. Yes. So thank you to you both for being here. I learned a lot about your candies and I thank hope you. people uh, will you. respond I hope and so find too. you, whatever yes. you are. Yes. <laughs> oh, and our phone number. I'm sorry. Yes. 508-888-2049. Okay. Okay. So call me with your holiday orders. Thank you very much. So to my viewers, thank you so much for being in this, well, for joining us this morning, not for being in the studio, though you wish you were here. <laughs> um, I had Debbie and Donald uh, Theron. Thelen. Thelen. Thank you. Um, in the studio to talk about D&D &D candies. They are delicious. You have heard from her where you could find her. She's locally located. You can also find her online, Facebook. Just type her name. I was able to find her instantly like Yay. that. Um, if you missed us this morning, the show will re-air this evening at 6 p.m. We'll also go on our YouTube channel, Wayham Community Television on YouTube. And um, do not forget that we have town meeting tonight. No sense to complain online if you do not attend town meeting. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and have a pleasant day. Bye, Wareham.